Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Road to the Knockouts is here today in FIBA 23, and this promo looks absolutely mental, especially because three of the confirmed cards with their confirmed stats that we already know have been juiced like crazy. EA seems to be going all out with this promo, and that means good things for us content-wise, and it also has created a lot of market panic i want to take a look at prices dropping on the game could that continue through today on friday or could we actually see a rise later on tonight because so many people have sold cards already and there's a lot of weekend league demand out there for the first weekend of foot champs good luck if you're playing so we're going to talk about all that today in the video cover the market talk about this road to a knockout promo look at some leaks look at the confirmed players and more so if you're excited for this promo today hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new let's start from the top with what's going on with this road to the knockouts promo today we know three cards the champions league twitter account we knew this was going to happen they tweeted out wednesday they, re they revealed three cards yesterday, and there's one that's really making things go crazy. It's this Aubameyang. A huge upgrade to Aubameyang's card from the gold to this 89 rated Road to the Knockouts card. A plus four upgrade. He goes above 90 pace. He has 88 shooting, 80 passing. This card looks incredible. Also a sick dynamic image of uh, a bombing with the mask, right? That's kind of sick. This Lamar card looks crazy. Sule looks pretty good. Lengthy, of course, right? Very OP for the meta. So all of these cards look really, really great. You can actually see them on Footbin. They're already loaded in here. These are the actual cards with the actual stats. We don't know the end games yet, but Aubameyang is number one most popular right now on Footbin. I think for good reason, because this card, face stat wise, looks unfreaking believable. And again, like I said, look at the boost on this card, right? Plus four shooting, four pace, and six passing, and then four everywhere else. Like, that's a massive upgrade this early in the game. You're making an Aubameyang card that, you know, maybe some people use a 35,000 coin card. I think this card today is going to be worth like 750k plus. And we're going to talk about value of these Road to the Knockout cards, of course, here in a little bit. But these cards look insane. And if EA keeps the same trend with the rest of the cards that they're going to be releasing today, it's going to be an absolutely insane promo. So we know these guys for sure, Sule, Lamar, and Aubameyang. Just to scroll through, again, a lot of the leaks we have had, there's been a ton of players. There might be a pretty big promo team today. We'll just have to see. Leo Messi is one of the headliners in a promo today. Of course, we've got Federico Valverde. We've got Rafinha. He is added to come be, uh, in the promo team today. There's the Sule, Thomas Muller. And Guisa was a new one that we haven't seen. He's been in the team today. Bremer, right? That's a pretty big Brazilian center back with Serie A links. That's a dope card. Juan Bisaka, hopefully has a bigger upgrade than that. But that could be a very useful right back in the Premier League because right now Kyle Walker's gold card is like your only option, uh, especially if you're using Cancelo on the left side. So this could be a very, very nice card to have. And you've got Gerald Moreno, Lucas Paqueta, Ikone. These are predicted stats, not confirmed. Uh, I believe Gerald Moreno is one of the cards on the loading screen uh, alongside of Odegaard and Foden, right? Foden's a really, really big leak. That's huge. He's on the loading screen. And I think his stats on this card are also a little bit better. He's got like 91 dribbling or something that, like that instead of 88. So that's pretty massive. Uh, we have a Patrick Schick card as well. This guy can't spell, but Patrick Schick uh, is going to be a part of the promo team today. He, th this is what it's going to end up being, right? It's going to be an insane promo team today. With all these cards in packs, everybody's getting excited for it. The card design is not actually loaded into the game yet. So hopefully they get the Road to the Knockouts design loaded in because this card is the Road to the Final. As you saw in those concepts, uh, that blue card design, the one that's on the loading screen, is the one for today's promo for Champions League. There's Europa League and Conference League. So I'm just really curious to see, number one, how many players are in packs today, and number two, what the pack weight is because... I think there's a few people that have saved packs today, but not like a crazy amount of people. Uh, but of course, people are going to see the promo team that is in packs. And if all the cards are juiced like Aubameyang and Lamar are, then people are going to want to be opening packs today because, you know, EA is EA's going to sell a lot of FIFA points because those cards look absolutely insane. And of course, we know the basics of these, right? These cards are live and they are upgradable. Now, of course, we'll have to get some interesting new info today about how they're going to do it this year because there's only three match days left. So maybe it's going to be qualified for the knockout stage and two out of three wins instead of 
of three out of four like it was last year, but there should be multiple ways where these cards can upgrade. And that's just the crazy part about this, right? You see an 89 rated Aubameyang, you're like, oh my goodness, this card could actually become a 91 by the time we get to, what would this be, like the start of the World Cup? Think about that for a second. This Aubameyang could be a 91 rated card if Chelsea win their last couple of games in the group stages and you know, if they, of course, progress on to the knockout rounds, this card could get a plus two potentially, right? We'll see how the upgrades play out today. But if EA are boosting these cards so much, like, it's crazy that they're doing that. That pushes the power curve up so, so, so fast. And that's just r ridiculous, right? Already at this early stage in the game, yeah, that worries me a little bit. I can't lie. But it looks crazy right now, and it's pretty dope. That card's going to be expensive. I can't stop thinking about that one, and I think nobody else can stop thinking about it either because it's on the top of Footbin. But again, that's how Road to the Knockout works. These are live cards, and again, these guys are going to be expensive today. Let's talk about their prices and packs and kind of move towards the market. Gentleman's son was in the team last year. His gold card was like, I think, 100 and something thousand coins, 170K. His inform was like 300K. This card came out, it was 1.2. 1.1 million coins on the first couple of days that he was in packs last year. The pack weight on these cards, as I take a look at my video last year showing the pack weights, 1.7% for a UCL player, one less than one for both the Europa League and for the Conference League players that were in the team. So there's going to be, it's going to be hard to pack these guys today, right? These guys are like always hard to pack. They start out with pretty high price ranges. A couple of guys might be extinct if EA mess up some price ranges, of course. Um, but these are the types of promo cards that are not that easy to pack. And they stay expensive because they are alive and they have the potential to upgrade. And let's be honest, the way these cards look, and especially with some of the stat boosts that they're going to be giving these cards, I think people are going to start to prefer these guys, these guys over maybe some of the ones to watch is that are going out of packs today. That's just kind of something to think about. But that's how I'm feeling about the cards that are going to be released on the market today. I think it's going to shake up the market a lot. But again, as I said, I feel like a lot of the cards could be a bit expensive today. You think about how much a messy road to the knockouts will be. It's going to be pricey. You think about that Aubameyang, a Valverde. There's going to be some really pricey cards on the market today. And not everybody... Could be able to afford those yet. So we'll talk about that in a second. What we're really unsure about today is the impact of the SBC content and the objective content. I would expect to see some sort of SBC for a road to the knockout player. We've had some really good ones in the past. Remember Bernardo Silva, Fakir, we've name dropped them a couple times in the previous videos leading up to this promo. If we have a player of that caliber today, there could be a lot of panic on, you know, the the SBC section of the market and or the SBC section could cause a lot of panic on the market. I mean, even think about yesterday with the Raheem Sterling SBC. So many people did this. A lot of left wings like Yunmin Sun and other Premier League left wings, but left wings in general yesterday dropped off a lot as people were doing this SBC. Now, would that make me think that EA could do two days in a row of really insane SBCs? I feel like they may might not do that, but they can, they absolutely could. And of course, when you get an SBC for a card that has the potential to live upgrade, that helps the value in it as well. I would also expect to see another objective today. I think technically the Richarlison expires, even though I got it done already. Dest is still going to be here. I'm going to have to get that one done in the next few days, of course. Um, go USA. But, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if we have any surprises in objectives and SBCs because as of right now, we have no leaks. I'd take a watch on Foot Sheriff's Twitter account. He might be leaking SBC objective content early into today. We'll just have to see how that impacts the market. But speaking of the market, if the players we're getting in packs today are going to be very expensive and pretty hard to pack, unless EA changed something with that, what's that going to mean for the rest of the market? Because a lot of the market already is down really, really bad with the leaks and with those official cars that have been shown and with the content yesterday with the Sterling SBC, a lot of people went out and sold cards because of you know, this promo that is upcoming and the content that could drop alongside with it, right? Of course, we're going to take a look at this Ronaldo card because this is a perfect example of a card that got absolutely dusted. We talked earlier in the week that Wednesday was going to be a really, really good time to sell these cards. That was a peak time. That was the peak time last year. It seems to be uh, the peak time this year. It was last week during heading into the ones to watch promo as well. Ronaldo was 550 on Wednesday. He dropped from 550 all the way down to 480. 
yesterday in the panic. From 480, he bounced back up to 512 in a slight bit of buyback. And now people are selling these cards again, preparing for today's promo on Friday. He's back down under 500K. And you could look just about every single Every which way on the market, almost every single card out there is down bad. Look at Vinny Jr. Vinny is 245 after being, I think it was like 280. He was 280, almost 290 on Wednesday. He dropped all the way down to 230K. He's back up just a little bit, but not much. You know, here's what I'm feeling about the market right now. Yes, there's been a lot of panic selling. Yes, there has been a lot of cards that have dropped off in price across the board. Ones to watches went down yesterday. I was able to, to trade and to flip with a few of those. Heroes went down a lot yesterday. Volare from being extinct at 900K is now 826,000 coins. Lucio from a million to like 870. Uh, Forlan was like 600K. Now he's 530. I've seen so many hero cards drop off. Smolarek is 390. This guy just keeps going down. It's crazy. He was 500,000 coins on Wednesday. He's down 100K. There's just so many examples of this across the market as people are panic selling the cards that they owned because they see the new ones that are dropping. And they also did the Sterling SBC yesterday. Again, both of those are what's impacting the market the most right now. 1,900 upvotes, very, very popular SBC. I think it's good value, if, you know, just to throw that in there. I think that Sterling SBC is pretty good value, especially if you want that Premier League link up. You can play on the left, you can play on the right with his position changes, has the potential to upgrade. Chelsea already have one win under their belt. So that combined with the hype of today is what has the market down so, so, so much. Now, if you think about it this way too, what this also means is, there's a lot of demand that is sitting there and that is waiting because people are looking to buy teams today, especially since a lot of people sold off yesterday. People are looking to buy teams today to go out and play the first weekend league of the year. And we've been talking about this in the past couple of days as well. I do expect a pretty sizable market bounce back after the content drop today. Again, when before the content drop, like last week, I think you might see a few player prices dropping down. You might see a little bit of panic selling today. I also just wonder if there might not be that much panic selling today heading into the content drop time because we already had so much, right? So many people have sold off in the past, you know, like 12 hours or so um, that prices have dropped down so much. How much lower can things really go? Unless EA drop an absolute madness today, the cards are super supplied and they end up being super duper cheap and there's an insane SBC. I don't really see a lot of these cards that have you know, dropped a bunch already. I don't see them dropping like loads more. Again, unless there's some sort of anomaly in there that we're not expecting. I do think that a lot of your cards that are down right now have potential to rise back later today not you know early i think later would be the time that you would see these cards rise back up because in the early day stage yes there might be people playing some weekend league yes there might be people out playing games to get those you know foot champs games going and started and everything but there's just going to be people waiting until that 6 p.m content drop to see what's going to happen, what content is going to be released, what new cards are coming out. And then you're going to have people that are going to go from there and decide what they want to do with their teams, maybe buy some of the players that they had back, or maybe go and try out a brand new card that just dropped from Road to the Knockouts. And of course, we're going to see a lot of fluctuation with those cards today on Friday as well. It's going to be an absolutely crazy Friday. It's going to be nuts. Um, you know, what I would say too is just like we did with the market yesterday, look at the cards. If you're purely trying to make coins or buy a team at the right time, depending on what cards you are looking for, the rare cards that are the most popular are going to rise first. Heroes, icons, some out of pack informs. You can see here, I bought this Kewl at 360,000 coins yesterday in a lot of the panic selling. He rebounded back to 400. I took my money. Rafael Leal got packed so much yesterday, right? I bought four of these um, at 165, 163K, sold them around 190,000 coins just because when you have that end of the supply and the panic, cards just bounce back, especially if they are rare. I've got a, a ones to watch Lewandowski right now. The ones to watches are absolutely cards that you want to watch today because they are, of course, going out of packs. And some of these guys have the potential to be playing, you know, tomorrow on Saturday or on Sunday and have the potential to be getting upgrades or, you know, a team of the week for a good performance or getting a second win 
towards their progression towards a three win upgrade so a lot of these card prices dropped yesterday there's potential for these guys to rise up as investments um you know after the content drop today and of course as they go out of packs and have no more supply there's a lot of these that i think look decently uh investable in so that's kind of what i would say but i would say be a little careful with these because we're getting new cards today with these road to the knockouts that just they look better they feel better the upgrades look good the car design looks good. So, you know, I would just be careful with ones to watch today. I think a few of them could go up, but it's going to be on a card by card basis. It's just going to be a crazy Friday. It really is. I've got some packs saved. I'm excited for it today. Um, I would rather save my packs. And I think some people maybe have saved their rivals rewards. Maybe some people have saved their uh, champs playoffs rewards. Of course, today as well on Friday, you're going to have the first weekend league rewards. People are going to be packing uh, and, and finishing their weekend leagues even before the content drop today, and that's going to start supplying all of these Team of the Week cards. That's why you saw me sell Rafael Liao as fast as I could when he had that nice price um, rise. He's now back down to 160K. These cards that are in the Team of the Week are going to get supplied a lot today as people get their nine wins and above rewards even before the content drop as Weekend League opens in just a few hours. People are going to be playing um, and getting those rewards. So be very careful with those Team League cards today. They will bounce around. They will be decent to trade with, specifically the higher tier cards uh, like Ben Yedder, like the Rafael Liao. And actually, today will be a day where we see a new Erling Holland card grace the market. Erling Holland's Team of the Week card will be in packs today. That'll be an interesting thing to watch because the ones to watch card actually dropped off a lot yesterday. He's 1.7 mil right now. He was like 1.9. His team of the week is going to be in packs today as the ones to watch goes out of packs. That's going to be something to kind of watch that Erling Holland market. Uh, and again, if you're, if you like trading, you like making coins, watch this Erling gold card because he was like 360 yesterday, went back to 400. This guy has hours of, of panic selling and then a rebound. Great, great, great card to trade with right here. Um, you know, for some quick flips, if you're on a higher budget, that's an absolutely great card to trade with. Also, a lot of people have invested in out of packs gold cards, uh, you know, like a bombing like uh, since he's coming into packs today with a, a promo card, his gold card goes out of packs. Uh, you know, Ben Yedder, who's in the team of the week. We saw this happen last week with the team of the week cards and the ones to watches. There was a lot of panic last week on Friday for guys like Marquinhos and Salah, but their gold cards were out of packs last week because they had informs in packs. What I would tell you today is keep an eye on some of those guys that are either out of packs or going out of packs because there might be really, really good potential to trade with, oh my gosh, this guy's how much? 450 for Salah, goodness gracious. Look at how much Sterling and SBC destroyed this guy's price. He was like 520K, now he's 450 again, that's nuts. Um, you know, just watch out for those cards that go out of pack today. Those could make really good quick flips or investments for the coming days that you could end up holding. Maybe you buy one or two for your team that you wanna get in and use in the weekend league. So it's gonna be a crazy Friday, of course, with the first foot champs of the year. And we'll see if EA have any surprises for us. Now, one thing I will say really fast to end off this video is in the store, there is a pack that was released with ones to watch called the FIFA 23 starter kit bundle pack. It expires today. Everything in the store expires today. Um, you know, I don't expect them to do lightning rounds today. I'd be a bit shocked if they did. That'd be one of those anomalies that we mentioned lightning rounds this early lightning rounds. Like don't ever have until black Friday, but it's EA. You never know that option is technically still there. They did add a new pack to the code. Uh, two of them actually, there's one called the Road to the Knockout Foundation Pack and a Road to the Knockout Essentials Pack. I could see one or both of these being in the store today or during these next couple of days, and they're pretty nice packs. They're all untradeable, so it wouldn't bring supply on the market, um, but it'd be kind of like that 100K pack that was in the store, trying to get you to open that up. It'll give you a lone Road to the Knockout player, a lone base icon, and then some gold players with uh, some rating guarantee in there. So that's just kind of something to watch out for today. Um, if you maybe have some of your leftover pre-order FIFA points, or um, if you have a lot of coins and you just want to gamble on one of those packs, that's going to be a place where you could maybe gamble in the store today. So I'm excited for today. Brand new cards. Road to the Knockout promo is always really, really good because it brings live and upgrading cards that people can get excited about. And you can have a correlation between the IRL game that's happening 
and in FIFA. So there's going to be a lot of market movement. We're going to be breaking it all down live on Twitch. Link down below in the description leading into the drop of content today on Friday. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Uh, drop a comment down below if you have any questions about the market. I'll be responding to a few of them down there. And of course, subscribe if you're new so you don't miss the video whenever they go live. If you enjoyed the video today, again, drop a thumbs up. I already said that. Let me get out of your face. Thanks for watching. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you later. Peace out.